Yo, it's Josh, and today we're comparing H.264 and H.265 encoding. Let's start with a little skit we put together. Hey, Internet! Yeah, Sam? I want to watch this live stream. Can I stream it in H.264, please? Are you sure that's what you want to do? I think so. Yes. No? Maybe. Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> All right. Hey Sam! What, Internet? Are you trying to watch something in 4K? Yes, I want to watch it in 4K. My mom said it's all the rage. Try this. Wow! Thanks, Internet! Okay, so that's really an oversimplification. I know the tech guys will hate us for that one, but we'll dive into it a little more here. Acronyms. HEVC, say that five times fast, also known as H.265, stands for High Efficiency Video Codec. It's a really complex method of compressing your video content so that you can live stream and watch videos online more efficiently without affecting the quality. The current encoding standard for video streaming is AVC, Advanced Video Codec, or H.264, which works great for HD streaming, but if you're looking to watch content in 4K, you may want a better encoding format. Codecs. HEVC and AVC are called codecs. Codec stands for Compressor, Decompressor. To put it simply, a codec takes light and sound from your camera and turns it into a digital format that a computer can read. This is known as compression. Then, eventually, our computers read it and play it back to us the way it was originally captured, which is known as decompression. And that's how you're watching this video right now. <laughs> bandwidth. The advantage HEVC offers is it takes less bandwidth to stream your videos, and in fact the quality is better because the way it compresses those videos is more advanced. If you want to learn more about that, read our blog post in the description. You can see in this graph that if you were trying to broadcast in 4K, it would require almost twice as much bandwidth using H.264 as it would for HEVC. Live streaming. So yes, HEVC compression allows us to more easily live stream 4K content, but it requires more advanced hardware, such as the Boxcaster Pro, to be able to compress the data. Fortunately, however, it also means that viewers with H.265 compatible devices will require less bandwidth and processing power to decompress that data and watch a high quality stream. So that's a summary of the differences between H.264 and HEVC, but if you'd like a more in-depth explanation on how the videos actually are compressed, then you can click on the blog post in our description. As always, if you have any questions for me, you can contact me anytime here. Thanks for watching and happy streaming.